just now we talk about the bank crisis in China, and I, I uh, mentioned that in China the bank bad loan even more severe than any other East Asian financial turmoil country, and uh, no matter it's Thailand or or um, Malaysia or Indonesia or, or South Korea, and no one have such kind of high percentage of the bad loan to the whole of the bank assets. And uh, I, leave, I, I left a, a question, how China deal with such kind of uh, severe financial situation? And uh, according to the, the uh, international regulation, if your bad loan, the percentage of uh, the bad loan or to, the, to the total assets uh, above then the, the total uh, self-capital uh, the, the, in, the, in the bank, that must be bankrupted. And, uh, uh, but in China, and, uh, there is a different uh, outcome. And uh, the first, mm, few people understand the state-owned enterprises and state owned the bank, the, the credit not caused by the self-capital, the credit created by the uh, uh, national sovereignty, by this independent country. And uh, the how strong of this country have their independence, their sovereignty, how strong have the bank credit. So no matter how big percentage of the bad loan, that is just a, the case. It's not means that it cannot be solved. So in China, it's a very uh, uh, clear picture that the central governments take almost all of these bad loan, almost all the cents, all the bad loan out of the bank, and uh, refund the bank, and to catch the the the, the level of the Basel first means that this bank can be a kind of refreshed bank and uh, have a, a new life and then going to the market to join the competition. Whatever they have done as a bad things off, out of the bank. And then because the China have a full big uh, state-owned bank, it is a uh, 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 China Industrial and the Commercial Bank, and the China Construction Bank, China Agriculture Bank, and the China Bank. And so every bank, they are, uh, the central government set up a kind of uh, assets management company. So we have a full big assets management company. Every bank have one. So means that Lisa uh, assets management company only manage the bad loan taken from the bank to sell or to buy or to take whatever. To make Lisa this bad loan to be the assets, maybe you can understand, maybe you need to think about what is the concept. But I remember that I, I sometimes gave you my lecture, I talk about how these uh, Western countries, especially United States, to make the government's bonds, means to make the government's physical debts into the government's bonds, and then to sell the bonds, to issue the new paper currency to buy the bonds, and that means that the, the, the physical debts turn to the assets. So the, the governments never need to pay all the physical deficit. The deficit can be used as a kind of new form, new tap of the assets in the financial markets. So the same, if you have a kind of monopoly controlled the, the power inside one country, no any challenge means that it's uh, absolutely uh, uh, power can have absolutely credit. And this credit means that 
it's a it's a means that you take the fully responsibility, full responsibility, not limited responsibility. So that is a you can think about thousands of years East Asian country like China with a thousand years political history. The, the, the state, the country, the state, always think that he, the state, take all the responsibility to cover all the people if you are a member of this country. <clears throat> that is originally criticized by Western philosophy, <clears throat> said the Eastern, Eastern countries have a kind of uh, father's love. And so they said, Fu Ai Zhu Yi. I don't know how to translate it into, into English, but anyway, it means that father, as a father, gave his love to all the children. So there is a kind of emperor to take the older responsibility for whole people. That is a traditional political system, traditional political culture, and also the political philosophy. Until now, means that the central governments as a kind of represent, representative of the whole people, and then to care about this country's um, long-term future. So nowadays, even they do some, some, some things not good. But in, indeed, it is the, the whole responsibility should be taken by the central. So the local is a kind of limited responsibility comments. Central is unlimited governments. So the unlimited governments control the financial system. So the financial system means that the government's credit became the, the currency credit. That is a, a kind of uh, ex explanation. And you can change another way to think about that. What is the, this money? The credit caused by what? And that's not, not come from the gold, because now the whole world gave up the gold reserve system. And then, every people knows that, that, that almost all its hard currency is soft enough. No any currency is hard currency, because no any currency can be changed back into the, 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 the gold or, or silver and whatever, because the system has been collapsed. And then, let me tell you that almost all the hard currency, all the these are paper money, the credit have only one resources. That is source from the political regime. So nowadays, if we talk about the 21st century is a financial globalization, is a financial capital cap competition in the world. So there is a only country, the only state is drawing the, only, the state joined the global competition, not by individual. No anyone can join the global competition except state. Because nowadays, in the 21st century, the competition is a financial competition. It's a financial capital competition, not by others. The financial capital is a credit. The credit only can come from the state. Sovereignty. So this is uh, why I gave you this explanation about late 1990s. China have a more severe financial crisis, much severe than any others. Out of China, all of others, their financial system collapsed. More easier to be attacked by these venture investments, by these uh, so-called financial evil. They, they, they can free flow into Thailand or South Korea and whatever. They all win. In, in these countries, these, uh, these uh, venture investment, investors, they win. But in China, they fail. Because nobody can do some such kind of things. Like I mentioned, I gave the explanation. I described how Chinese government stated it. Just, you, you, even you have, you have no such kind of imagination. How can a government just take all the bad loans out of the bank? Up to now, we still have this uh, full, big 
assets management company. They still be there. From 1997 until now, there's a 30 years past. They still be there one to another to deal with this, uh, this uh, sort of bad loan. And then, but it's not loan up now. They became a kind of assets. They sell a little bit and sell a little bit. And, uh, and then maybe this uh, assets can be changed into the shares. So nowadays, some part of the bad loan has been the shares controlled by this company. This company, they are a kind of shareholders company. They have many shares in different SOEs. State owned enterprises, you are a kind of airport management company. You have a large number of bad loans, now all become the shares controlled by another one. So that's the game. Think about it. It's a fantastic game. In this new century, in the 21st century, the country now became the player of the game. Directly drawing this, uh, this uh, competition. So which one is the big? The biggest nowadays, you can see, the top one bank in the world is ICBC. China, this uh, industrial and commercial bank, now became the top one bank in the world. But 20 years ago, mm -hmm, this bank should be collapsed. And the, 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 the top four is the China Construction Bank. And the top seven is China Agriculture Bank. The top 11 is China's bank, Bank of China. Still be there, alive. And then can be the, the top, from the top one to top 11. It's all these uh, four big state banks, but they originally 20 years must be collapsed. So this such kind of game, how does China play the game like this one? We need to take into the consideration and then compare with other, with any other countries. So this game player have a different way to play such kind of global financial competition game since late 1990s. So from the first overproduction crisis, investing countries that is turned to the what kind of outcome. From East country, especially from China, turned to what kind of outcome. Investing countries turned to the Second World War to massacre thousands of people, many millions, but in East, in China, you compare historical com compare these uh, two outcome. You can see that why the Chinese as a kind of civilization for thousands of years still be there, include many different civilizations. Okay, so this time when we talk about how the global crisis impacted China to make China have a kind of the first overproduction uh, 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 crisis. This overproduction crisis combining other crises means that we, the, this crisis is also combining the financial crisis and the financial crisis is more severe than any other East Asian term, t financial turmoil country. And then how China plays such, such kind of game and then recovered. And then 20 years later became the, these, uh, these uh, top banks in the world. So. That is a very uh, 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 valuable uh, 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 analysis, as I hope you uh, pay attention to. Here we can see that this, uh, these years, originally as a great grow up, and then here, so-called four years de depression in the, the uh, foreign trade, export import, uh, stagnant, no, increase until the 2002 uh, because of 2001 IT bubble break and large amount of FDI flow China and then they controlled exports and nowadays from 20, 2002 the exports mainly created by foreign invested company okay next here also is a CPI China Consumers Price Index, CPI. The CPI here 
from the 1997, uh, from 1997 to the 2002, and from 2002 increased, but these are three years. It's a so-called deflation. Deflation means a depression. And here also, cost of by these years, large number of the capital flow out of the East Asian countries, including for China, flow to inside into United States for IT industry, for IT industries. So there's a new economy uh, period. The, the FDI, not increment, remains at a low level. So, and then until 2002, increase again. So these are, these are data shows that in the late 1990s, East Asian as a whole, as an area, have a similar crisis. China not accept, not escape. China, not, China is a single case. But that means that China not had such kind of crisis. China had sim similar crisis, even more bad situation than others. OK, so this uh, uh, page um, detailed tell you that how China choose the measures to deal with such kind of crisis. And uh, uh, so the, the, the macro level, I mean, as I mentioned, in 1990s, Chinese central policy circle still insist on the marketization. So they are trying to put the education, even the medical uh, uh, sector, the, the medical service, into the markets to make a lot of private uh, investments into the education, into the uh, 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 hospitals. And uh, so the, the hospital need to take the money from the, 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 the common people. And also education need to take the money from common people. So a lot of family, if they have a, a case into the university, this family became poor. And if the family have uh, some people ill, Aging people ill, this family became poor. So it's because of the privatized a lot of public sector. So this uh, public uh, it means that uh, 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 privatization, marketization, uh, globalization, liberalization, all of these decisions in 1990s still be in the mainstream in China. And then they also made very important policy to push these uh, SOE workers. Uh, going to so-called going to market, but indeed it's unemployed. And then large number of the uh, uh, layoff workers going to the street. There are many social conflicts. And so, but, but in, in, the, in the macro level, in macro level, they do a lot of things like marketization. But in the, another side, at the macro level, the, the macro level means that the, the, the financial and the, and the fiscal system and uh, they do something like uh, going long, uh, going, uh, not going short, but going long. So in, in, the, in the low level, in macro level, mm, they do something as a going short. But in the, in the high level, in the macro level, they do something going long. So mainly, that is, uh, they close down this uh, private investment bank and foreign capital investment bank and uh, also close down the farmers, the peasants' uh, uh, so-called uh, credit uh, collective, uh, collectives, something like that. But it's not exactly mainly controlled by the local elites. It's uh, partially private. And uh, so these are all the closed. And over-the-count uh, 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 trade also closed. And only the stock market is maintained that's controlled by the state. Means that the this measures means that almost all these are private financial sector, including financial uh, foreign invested financial sector, closed down. And only maintain state owned enterprises and state owned financial sector. That is a uh, from the macro level, means the high levels measures. They, have, they, they strengthen the multiple control of the financial sector. 
that is different. Uh -huh. And uh, you may know that in the United States, there are almost 8,000 banks, all private. So Federal Reserve is a banker's organization. But in China, central bank is exactly governments. And uh, these are big four. Uh, control more than 70% of the financial assets in China. They are multiply controlled. It's a state bank. So that's a different system. So nowadays the competition, global financial competition, mainly is a two-system competition. One is a private bank system, another state bank system. These are two systems compete together in the global financial markets. So I will give more explanation later, but nowadays that's just telling you that they, how that they close down this, uh, this uh, private sector in financial uh, area. Okay, and then here it's uh, doubled the, 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 the physical bonds uh, annually. Originally, every year they only have uh, uh, 50 billion. And since 1998, more than 100 billion. And then uh, nowadays it became 300 billion and something. So increased more fast. And then the third one is that to uh, stabilize the peasants' uh, land rights. So, and uh, these are measures. Uh, that is, uh, I uh, summarized of the late 1990s government's measures deal with the crisis. And then the conclusion is very interesting. I have this one maybe very challengeable. I said, and the Roosevelt New Deal and the uh, uh, late 1990s Chinese deal all are new statism. That, but it's just partially the uh, deal with the crisis, not the whole, not the whole. And uh, China and United States and turn to the high increments is caused by outside, not inside, caused by the external factor, not internal factor. United States caused by the uh, Pearl Harbor uh, uh, accident and then to push the United States into the Second World War. And then the war is a big demand to make the in industries go high. That is an uh, external factor to s solve the problem of the uh, uh, big depression. But in China, it's caused by two 2001 IT bubble break, new economic bubble break, and then large number of the foreign capital flow into China, and then to make, make the foreign capital control exports make the GDP increment again. So that is a, both an external, external factor to solve the problems of the crisis. One is in uh, 1930s in the United States. Another is uh, 1990s in China. Uh, we all can make this uh, phenomena into one uh, uh, theoretical concept, that is the new statism. And when we finish this one, we can uh, give you uh, the, 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 the ex more detail about the Western countries' overproduction crisis. Here you can see very clear that is a the before Roosevelt, the, the president of the United States, Hoover, make a kind of more uh, uh, severe crisis because of he believes the liberalism. And so Roosevelt believed statism. So he make the uh, economic growth uh, uh, much better than before. So this uh, downgrade is in uh, uh, upgrade. And, uh, but the Roosevelt uh, still have a, a kind of new depression. By Pearl Harbor attack, the war demand make the industries higher than before. Or not here, so this, so because of the war. So that is a, 
uh, this one is GDP per capita. This one is a, a normal GDP, full normal GDP. So you can see that here, what is his measures of Roosevelt? Bank closed. As I mentioned, in China, we also have a bank closed. And then the gold con uh, convertibility suspended. And uh, this is also the, uh, uh, the, the, the gold reserve system. And uh, 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 suspended. And but depression begins in the, in the US because of this one, this hovers. And then World War II begins in Europe to make uh, uh, American industry go high. So this, this, this picture is very clear to show that um, what happened in the 1930s to 1940s. And here to show that not the United States, but also UK and uh, France and Germany all have very bad situation in industries. And then the most severe is the United States. And then second one is Germany. And then their, their commercial capital also is uh, very bad. So here is uh, these are four countries. And foreign trade, look, decreased 70 percent. Mm -hmm. And then here Germany has decreased more than 60 percent. So unemployment here, look, it's more than 600. United States, and then this uh, Germany is uh, 200. So these are uh, these are uh, from 29 to 32, before Roosevelt New Deal. The the situation, economic situation, in the world, led by these uh, so-called liberalist uh, 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 politicians, and uh, going worse and worse. And uh, also, I need to mention that the Second World War initiated by this uh, liberalist country, not by statist country. And uh, because they all believe that liberalism, so they all follow, falling into the depressions. And they fight each other. So these, uh, these uh, 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 historical events need to ref re reflect in, in, in modern uh, 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 situation to understand what, re what is the real happen. Here, look at this. Uh, I use this picture several times, but you need to pay attention to this one. And uh, from Zhu Rongji to Wen Yabao, they have uh, 15 years of big investments. And then they make the GDP goes high, similar as just now I showed the picture as a Roosevelt. Uh -huh. And uh, even they have a little bit of depression, but the long-term trend, trends is an uh, increment until the new uh, crisis happened, that is a uh, Wall Street financial turmoil happened again. And then f foreign demand decreased, and then GDP decreased also. So when we see that one, when Zhu deal with the financial turmoil in East Asian countries, and overproduction happened in China, combining the deflation and the bank bad loans, and similar as Roosevelt, he received by high investments and, uh, this, uh, uh, and, and also trying to deal with the 40 million SOE workers layoff. So we can see that these are uh, measures, no matter what, uh, what is the ideology, what is uh, this um, political regime, when they're facing the challenge of the crisis, they must do something that is more critical. So if you just believe they talk, or they write into the documents, that means that you are you fool, not their fool. The, 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 the writing documents is for, 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 for something, but the, the, the reality is another thing. So we should do more studies on the reality not pay too much uh, 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 energy to read these uh, documents. And then here is the case, shows that how that they strengthen the state control. So from the, the same year, when East Asian financial terminals happened in the summer of 1997, so late, in the late autumn, China have a central uh, uh, con con conversation, a con conference, special 
talk about financial situation, and then they uh, closed down the whole of the the patients uh, uh, credit collect uh, fun, uh, funds or cl collectives, and then also they closed down the over counter uh, trade of the stock markets, and then they closed down the 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 Hainan Development Bank, and then bankrupted the uh, Guangdong uh, uh, National Investment Company. And uh, both of these two joined by the private investors and the foreign investors. And, uh, but all have a very big bad loan. And so they closed down. And then to make the so-called the debts turn to the shares, buy this uh, full big uh, assets management company. I have uh, gave the detailed explanation about how they make the debts into the shares. Now they still be there to control these uh, shares, but the shares are really a debts. Just, uh, I said it's a financial game. How to play game and who can have the rights to play the game? That is the problem. The game, the financial game in the 21st century played by any country in any country. But who have the right to play the game is the question. So when we see that these are social conflicts, we can see that we have a several times have a much severe the social conflicts. The late 1980s, the late 1990s is because of the overproduction. Late, late 1980s caused by the high inflation, and then here. Is that because of the global crisis and overseas demand large decreased? So we have a several times here also, and in in the early 1980s, late 1970s, it's also because of a crisis. So all of these these times, these are uh, conflicts. One is the main factor that is unemployment. If you have a large number of unemployment population means there must be a kind of very high uh, uh, increment of the social conflicts. Here is that these uh, workers, when they lay off, they only can stay at the side of the street waiting for a job. So that is, it means that uh, he can do a lot of uh, job as uh, electric, electric affairs. And then he can do some furniture and, uh, and uh, 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 decoration. So, they have a different, but it's a, all became a private. And here is that from the, the, the accelerated marketization, privatization, the so social conflicts and uh, mass uh, uh, incidents increased more faster since last, last year. Look, 1997, 1998, is that almost 10 thousands mass incidents and because of a large number of unemployment. So these are, these are pictures and data in the bars just shows that it's a, it's a kind of regulation. No change by any political regime. No matter who is the leading party, if you have a large number of unemployment people, there must be a mass incidents and social conflicts. Here it uh, shows that mm, uh, from the 1998, when Chinese issue large amount of the fiscal bonds, that means that fiscal bonds is the investments, and then these investments into different different uh, 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 area. This one is uh, agriculture and uh, irrigation. Here is some um, um, uh, uh, communication. And, and, the, and the information system. And here is the city's infrastructure construction. Here is the electricity network construction. Here is the storage of the green, green storage. Here is the uh, real estate. So many different sectors all have the uh, uh, government's bonds investments. But sometimes you can see that um, it's uh, mainly uh, the public sector. And uh, for, for uh, uh, big improvements of the infrastructure constructions. 
Mm, and then here to show that a, ho a total amount of the uh, 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 physical bonds. And uh, these are three years. And then this picture to shows that uh, China have uh, just uh, several provinces. And it's, uh, uh, the GDP grows higher. And then inland is uh, very backward. So if governments invest into the inland, here you can see that from 1998, the government started to invest into inland. And the inland construction became more and more, more, and more uh, important. So now our, in 1998, it became as put west and the central together. It's uh, more than 50%. So these are, these are uh, uh, Inland investments construction can be divided into three big state strategy. First one is the Western China development. Second one is Northeast China old industrial base reconstruction. The third one is that made China rising. So this one, Western China development is a 3.6 trillion investments. And here is a two to three trillion for Northeast and then another two to three trillion for made China. So these are large number of investments. You, you can put them together. It's almost, I mean, that's these, these are two things. It's Zhu Rongji. When he, is, he was uh, the premier, he made two state strategy, large amount of investments into the, 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 the uh, west and the northeast. The total amounts is almost uh, uh, six trillion. And then Wen Yabao also keep his uh, strategy and then keep to invest into the local. And then finally, you can have a kind of regional gap rebalance. And uh, that is a very positive outcome because nowadays, even you go to the United States, you can find the regional gap enlarged. If you go to Arizona or go to some, 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 some poor states, you can find that it's uh, people here hopeless. So with some rich states, okay, the, that is a uh, uh, GDP per capita still be very high. So even United States cannot solve the, the, the gap between different regions. So the regional gap in China solved by the government's fiscal bonds investments. So that is a, uh, uh, I said, fortunately, unfortunately, anyway, the outcome is a much better. Yeah, it's a big, big, it's a big death. Nowadays, you all know that China, the death to GDP, now is highest in the world. But the death now caused by investments. So if you invest into the right field, that will be have a better outcome. But if you invest into the, just a, you can compare, United, United States also have a large amount of bonds investments, but it's invest into the, the, the different field. You can, you can do your analysis and you can find the difference. So we can, finally we can have a, our conclusion. And let's uh, give you this picture to show that one China uh, uh, have regained the high increments since 2002. I said it's a, the late 1990s Chinese overproduction crisis not solved by Chinese government itself, but by the IT bubble break. And because IT bubble break means a large number of the foreign capital reflow into China. And uh, since the late 1990s, China started the infrastructure construction, have a much better the base for absorb this uh, foreign capital. So the foreign capital seeking the chance, they found that China is a much better investments uh, base, better than any other countries like India. At that time, India is a big market. But why that these uh, foreign capital wouldn't like to go to India? Because there's no infrastructure construction. At that time, even there's no 
one kilometer highway in India until uh, late uh, the second decades of the 21st century, India started to initiate the infrastructure construction. They have semi-highway uh, freeway. Before that, they don't have freeway. And they have, they have so-called highway, but it's not exactly. So if there is a no perfect infrastructure construction, the foreign capital wouldn't like to invest into the, the, the developing country. So this time, from 2001, because of the, 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 the crisis happened in Western countries, large number of these uh, foreign capital not only invest into the currency, but also bring large number of machines, facilities, and the te technologies. That is uh, uh, the, the new trends in the Western uh, capitalist system. Because this time, they caused by the large amount of the, the, the deficit by this uh, crisis. I said new economic crisis happened, and then they have uh, created a lot of debts. So it means that this time, caused by the debts, they got to bring all their machines, all the industries, move out from these uh, Western countries. So Western countries, the industry become more and more empty. The physical production, physical production, since the beginning of the 21st century, mainly set up in China and uh, some other developing countries. Not only Western countries, but also even like, like, like Taiwan, this area, and South Korea, as originally is a fully industrialized country. Almost all, all of these industries, all absorbed by China because the infrastructure con construction made China have a perfect system. You transport any uh, commercial goods much faster than any other, other countries. So this time, from 21st century, China more deepen link, more strong link with the global economy. And then by the global economy, we must understand it still be a kind of capitalism. What is capitalism? Look at this, uh, the, 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 the relations. This uh, physical economy now mainly is set up in, in developing country, like China. And then they give large amount of the commercial goods to Western countries. They take the benefits, and, but they have a current account deficit. Uh -huh. These are manufacturing the natural resources exports to the advantaged country. And then they have a large amount of deficit, but they can create capital. So they have financial service, means that they transit this capital into physical economy, economic developing countries in name of financial service. So they have a big service sector. Uh -huh. And they also give the cultural impact, uh, give you impact to make you understand free trade, liberalism is the best one. So you believe, and then you do your transition. The more you do your transition, the more you transit the benefits to them, to these develop, developed countries. And then they said, you cannot to invest your own money because you have no such kind of financial market. They have. So you have your current account surplus to do the foreign reserve reinvestments into their financial markets. And then they got the surplus. So the more deficit, the more surplus. That is the financial game. I just now mentioned the 21st century global financial market is a game. Who play the game is the problem, is the question. The game is the game. So if you are a capitalist country, the private bank play the financial game. So if you are a socialist country like China, the state play the financial game. Anyway, they all play the same game. 
So that is a uh, the the Western advanced advanced country control the capital markets. So they capitalize almost all the physical economic countries resources, and then take large amount of benefits by these uh, capitalist countries. That is a uh, one China deep in their relation with the global ec economy. China became such kind of developing country. And uh, they have a virtual economy. They became more and more advanced, advanced. So they take advantage to be a kind of such kind of circle. Now they enable this circle as a so-called um, uh, 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 institutional advanta advantage. Institutional advantage is uh, not so bad because they, they do have big return by such kind of institutional construction. So that is a grand narrative. We must uh, have our own discord to talk such kind of grand narrative. Make ourselves understand who you are and where you are. We are here. And then, because you do your physical economy, so you need to develop a lot of natural resources and then bad impact the environment. And then you have an environment and the resources deficits. And then unsustainable growth. That is uh, most of this uh, country like China. And there are so many social conflicts caused by the bad impact of such kind of production uh, styles. And also, you made a lot of social conflicts. So that is uh, our cost. This cost trans transferred, transition transferred by your transition. So when we read this uh, picture, we can know that caused by the crisis is that China even solved the crisis, but solved the crisis mainly by vast investments caused by Western crisis. And then finally, you can have such kind of relation with Western countries. And then the more and more Chinese in the industries controlled by foreign capital. Mm -hmm. So that is a, and then this picture to shows that how American new economic bubble break. Here, look, from 1950, 1995, 1995, I said 1994, there's a big change. WTO taking place, NAFTA EUO taking place, caused by Soviet Union collapse. They took large amount of benefits by capitalized Soviet Union's and other Eastern, Euro Eastern European countries' natural resources and the physical assets, because these countries never been uh, monetization and capitalization. So it's a big benefit. And then they have uh, also released control of this uh, military in information construction and uh, Star War uh, new tech, high tech. And when they release control of high tech, there are some kind of the uh, 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 dot-com company uh, emerged and then they go to the stock markets. So here is one, here is one, and one by another to make stock market goes high. And then to absorb a lot of the capital from overseas flow into the United States and then to make high and high and until this one, downgrade. That is uh, 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 the highest is uh, more than uh, uh, Nasdaq highest is uh, more than 5,000, the indicator shows. And then the uh, 2001, the high tech bubble break, decreased faster until the, the, the late 2001. And then 2002, there is almost the same level of the, this uh, dot com company go to public means that go back to the original, original. And then this uh, 
foreign capital, this, uh, this capital cannot stay inside in, in these uh, capital markets. They flow out. So this, this picture shows that and, uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, the total amount of, of this uh, dot com company, uh, they, they, lose, they lost $5 trillion. But there's another thing that's also need to take, take, take into the consideration that is the Federal Reserve. Originally, they gave a very low interest rate to push the money flow into the market. And then, 1909, here, when it's increased, and the early 2000s, Federal Reserve increased the, the rate six times, uh, six times than before. So that means that large number of the capital flow out. So Federal Reserve play, play a kind of role to trigger. So means that this one lost, this one Federal Reserve can issue more paper money, and then can earn large of a uh, uh, large number of the, the profits. So financial game, what is that? The game means that okay, I I created this uh, credit, and then you use, and then you lost, and then I created more. This is a that is a new it's a new centuries global financialization's new game. We, we, we must know that. And then look at it here. From that time, Americans' debts, the, the, that is a current account debts, increased more faster. Because the United States became a kind of country, mainly produce money. They don't produce commercial goods. So it means that these commercial goods, they need to use their money to buy, and then they have a current account deficit. But they also have a large amount of the, 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 the other countries' capital invest into the United States. And then they can use other countries' money to uh, 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 buy other countries' assets. So this uh, picture shows a very interesting game. Who is the game o uh, winner? It's uh, the highest debt, the biggest winner. That is uh, the game when, when you, you play the game. So you, you must know what is the role of you inside of this game when you want to join this game to play. So here is uh, one foreign capital flow in. You can see that the foreign capital, uh, 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 this, uh, this, uh, uh, in, in the coastal province, these are in Guangdong, this are in Jiangsu, these are in these, these are, uh, 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 the foreign capital mainly uh, allocated in the coastal area and uh, control the exports. So from that time, from the, the two, uh, 2001, when these are 2001, 2002, when the foreign capital flow in China more and more, that here is uh, the bar, uh, this one. So the foreign capital flow in China, and then many control the coastal exports, and then these uh, benefits flow to these uh, foreign capital investments, and then it means that they take two sides uh, uh, profits. One that is uh, when they invest into the developing country, they control the exports, and then the, your 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 current account uh, 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 surplus taken by foreign capital. And then they, this uh, foreign uh, current account uh, uh, surplus reinvest into the uh, 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 Western countries' capital markets. They take second times uh, 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 profits. So they have uh, two hands to take the profits to play this game. So when the crisis is over, when you regain the high growth, you need to do the analysis to know how that you lose, how and the others take this uh, uh, profit. And then you may have a, a, a new awareness to understand what is your position. And then also you can, you can have a full head. You can predict to know that what will be 
the next time's cyclical crisis. And uh, here it shows that the, the exports and the import since 2002 has increased again. Uh -huh. And uh, 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 this uh, shows that uh, I just mentioned that because of foreign capital control, so you, even your gain is a high growth, but it means that these, uh, these high growth not benefits yourself, as many benefits these uh, overseas foreign capital. Okay, and I finish my lecture. Uh, hope you can uh, have some new, uh, uh, how to say that, new thoughts from this lecture. Thank you.